<laughs> well everybody welcome back to end me yeah, that's nick and i thought it'd be a cool idea to open up the video of me catching a fish and i literally caught a fish and nick wasn't recording and then when he is recording right now the fish don't bite well everyone welcome back to nb edits hopefully you liked that little intro it would have been better if john would have caught a fish now as you can see by the first couple seconds of this video i am with john from mindac outdoors and him and i are up here in northern wisconsin and we are doing something that uh, we haven't done yet so far this year and that is going to be doing some camping we have a few days off and we're up here obviously in God's country and John brought his rooftop tent his truck we got the Lund and my truck and we're gonna spend the next couple days up here at this beautiful campsite gonna go ahead and show you guys you can see we have got lakeside view absolutely gorgeous lake I've never been to this lake I've never been to this campground so this is kind of exciting so the game plan for the next couple days is we're gonna set up John's rooftop tent which has been on the channel before but if you guys haven't seen that once we get it fully set up and everything I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this bougie setup that we have now the campsite that we have has electricity which is super clutch because we plan on taking my boat out for the next couple days As you can see we got the electric right here which is something that I'm not used to normally when I'm camping I'm in the middle of nowhere and uh, I don't have service I don't have electric I don't have showers I don't have any of that but this one we have all of that so pretty excited to be doing that but like I said we're gonna set up the rooftop tent we're gonna spend the next couple days chasing fish up here in northern Wisconsin the main species is probably gonna be walleye but no guarantees uh, that's gonna be the only thing that we're chasing I know we might go for some crappie and who knows what else we're just gonna kind of let this week take us whatever direction it's gonna take us and uh, bring the camera along and film most of it for you guys so we go ahead get the camp set up here show you guys the setup and then we're gonna do some fishing later tonight so stay tuned all right you guys so John has set up his rooftop tent now like I said this has been in previous videos but probably a good year or two but if I stand over to the side here you guys can see this thing this thing is pretty bougie. Now you've seen a lot of the truck tent on my truck, which is, which is usually what we like to film in when we go camping. So this thing sits actually on top of his Tacoma that he's got here. This thing will sleep both of us in, what did you say, a small you dog? Could, if you had like an infant, a toddler, or a small dog, you could fit it in there as well. That's what it's rated for. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take the camera off of the tripod right now. I'm gonna let John give a walkthrough, and then I also wanna show you guys what we got at the store, what we're gonna be surviving on for the next couple days here, cause you'll probably get a kick out of it. All right, so Nick already gave a little warm welcome into my tent. This is the CVT Mount Shasta version here. And uh, come on, let's take a look at it closer. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I believe it took me about 10 minutes to set up, and if I was going a little bit faster, I think I could do it in about six, to five minutes so set up super easy even a dummy like me can figure it out but we got the ladder right here and i'll just let nick walk or you guys can follow me here well i'll just get this a little bit uh opened up here but you walk up uh the ladder there and then nick i'll have you show them the inside oh god so this is what i was talking about you can see this will sleep both of us perfectly fine what kind of mattress is this it's a three inch mattress foam so like look at that it's really comfy nick like oh i mean snuggles tonight are gonna be a1 dude so this is something that i'm not used to especially having like an actual mattress that is one thing i always seem to forget when i go camping is some sort of mattress i have stepped up to like a mediocre cot which is pretty awful still but that is gonna be super nice. And the layout, I mean, God, it looks good. Like it, on it top of the fits. Tacoma, like I, it's mm. pretty sexy. And then you got the big trees in the background, a lake right here. I mean, you're just living the dream, man. You can't complain. Back here though, nothing too crazy. We got the Jackery. This is what is gonna like charge our cameras, our phones, or whatever else we need to be charged besides the boat pretty much because the boat's gonna be hooked up over there. 
Uh, I do have solar panels for this, so during the day when Nick and I are gone, I'll set out the solar panels, it'll recharge, it'll be good. But honestly, this thing will probably last us like the next three days without having to be charged, so that's nice. Uh, bought firewood at the front to burn for bonfires. You can't bring in firewood. And then I got a little Yeti here with some food. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek on what we're gonna be having here. Ugh. We got, well, we got some ice right there. But we got burgers for uh, me and Nick, and then our friend Bridge is gonna join us too. I don't know if it's gonna happen in this episode. We got burgers, and we got more ice, and we got brats, a uh, bunch of meat. I, I, I brought meat for you, Nick, don't worry, man. And then, well, the, uh, the real, the real uh, meal of champions is in there. But uh, you're gonna have to wait to find out what that is. We'll probably eat that tonight, don't you think? Yeah, probably. Okay, because we brought a lot of it. All right, you guys, well, we are fully set up. We are going to load up the boat, head to the water right now. It's super nice that we actually did this and we're not procrastinating. Yes, I would love to be out on the water right now, but it was more important to get everything set up so that way, whenever we get done fishing, whether that's gonna be at eight o'clock, nine o'clock, two in the morning, we can come back here, stroll on in, just go right to bed everything's already set up all ready to go so we're gonna get in the truck we're gonna head to the lake it is absolutely gorgeous out here unheard of guys yesterday i went fishing and it was blowing 30 to 40 mile per hour winds out on this very lake at the same spot that i'm fishing and uh today there is no wind on the entire lake i have never seen this lake this calm at this time of the day this is this is just crazy so john and i obviously we are out in the boat and yeah we are going to be fishing for some walleyes this evening now i would like to take a second here and talk to you guys about why you haven't seen an opening uh wisconsin fishing video and the reason that is is because it wasn't that good for us. Now, we did go out at midnight and we did catch some fish, but if you guys know anything about filming or just fishing in the dark, uh, it's very hard to do both at the same exact time. So I'm gonna overlay some clips here just to show you guys. We did go out at midnight. We did catch some fish with our buddy Sweary. And then we fished till about five in the morning, slept in the truck for about two hours. We headed even further north to actually go hit another lake that we normally fish on opener. It's kind of like a tradition, uh, carry-in lake, small John boat, no electronics. And we'll go ahead and show you guys some footage from that day. The only fish that we caught that was worth filming was a nice 25 inch walleye that Brandon ended up catching. Super nice fish. We just, we couldn't get a, quite enough footage for a video. So sorry for that, but John and I are up here and we are hoping to actually show you guys some fishing footage. So we got to the first spot, like I said, dead calm. That's not usually great, but it is the evening. So these walleyes, once the low light conditions start to pick up here, should start snapping. So we're gonna get the rods out, show you guys kind of what we're doing, how we're gonna be fishing for these walleyes and hopefully get hooked up real soon. So gonna be taken first couple casts. John already caught one. So he actually caught one on his very first cast. And I just wanna to talk to you guys what we're doing here. So we are fishing a super deep drop off bank here. As you can tell, land's right there, right where we are, 30 feet of water and these are places you're going to want to hit especially in the early spring stages these fish are going to go up there they're going to do their thing this is all rocks up here and then tapers down so we're just casting towards the shoreline here retrieving it back we're starting the day off we are using just a jig black jig with a more natural paddle tail swim bait and just slow retrieving it back we are using more natural colors just because this lake is pretty clear and uh, yeah, John caught one on his first cast. So, it shall be a pretty good night. Oh, I just got tapped so hard, dude. Oh, oh my oh, That's God. nice, actually, yeah, yeah, John. not bad. Oh my God, dude. He crushed this thing, man. <laughs> like, I didn't even think he had it. I was just sitting there like, oh my God, he's gonna come back, I thought. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it's not bad. He choked it. <laughs> it gets pretty big, actually. 24 maybe? Skinny. Hey! No, that's like 25, 26. Oh yeah, dude, it's so skinny though. <laughs> we on uh, that post-bomb bite. We on that post-bomb bite. Thanks for netting that, man. Jeez, they're wanting this natural color paddle tail that I have. I 
think it would have been perfect or what? Yeah. yeah. Slammed it. There you go. Netter? Feels okay. It's a smallmouth. What? Yeah, it's a tank smalling, actually. Oh, jeez. Look at the head shakes on that. See, it felt kind of nice. Okay, that's not the targeted species. Perfect for the frying pan, brother. But that's it's actually a pretty nice smallie. Well, it is absolutely gorgeous out. Decided to bring the big camera out. Nice smallie, first fish of the day. I just wanted to show you. If you guys aren't from Wisconsin or have not been to Northern Wisconsin, you're definitely gonna to wanna to come up here. Yes, we are walleye fishing, but like I said in the intro, we're going for anything that pretty much bites. It's, we're just going for good, good fun and fishing and uh that was fun beautiful northern wisconsin is one of the top places besides canada to go for these awesome species i'm not a huge largemouth guy but smallmouth you know they're still kind of cool look at that okay there he goes all right hopefully the next fish is going to be a walleye like i said john already caught a 24 and uh, yeah, I'm looking for one of those too. Water temps are 53 degrees. Last time I was here, even just yesterday, they were only 48. So these fish have definitely got to be post-spawn. But the one nice thing about post-spawn is that they should be eating super aggressive. You watch, it's probably gonna blow us right into that point. Like I was expecting us to, you know, Oh God, it just got slammed. It's a walleye. Dude, he smoked you. Oh yeah, giant. <laughs> giant. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, yep. yep. All right, well, John and I just put up the trolling motor, put up the big motor. We were kind of just letting Jesus take the wheel here. And uh, when I say that, I mean, we're just getting drifted here and we're just casting with our plastics. And uh, we don't really care where we're going. We're fishing this shallow, rocky area where my dad and I caught a few yesterday spawning. And uh, this guy was in four feet of water. We got 50, well, actually the water's kind of colder here, 52. So must have had some cold water blow into this, but they were just here spawning yesterday. And uh, this little guy, Decided to eat my plastic. Another northern, probably, huh? It's small. It's like really small. It was running at me. Schmally! I'm also hooked up. Doubles? Oh, yeah. Mine could be the right species. Or a smallie. Kind of feels like a smallie. Nick and I both have big fish. Yep. Oh, we found the smallie, baby. Woo! Hey. We're <laughs> John and I just doubled up on smallies. <sighs> Let's hey, go. He's bigger than mine. <laughs> That's what she said, too. Oh. We found the smallie juice. Take a little story to flex. <laughs> yeah, man, those are some pre spawn giants, brother. Wow. <laughs> There are smallies on smallies here. <laughs> that thing smoked Yeah, it did. Wait, is that a walleye? That's a walleye. <laughs> here we are talking to that smallie game. Sir. All right, well, we'll take them like that. We shall. Wow. As you can tell, my uh, jig and plastic are completely engulfed. Thought I for sure had another smallmouth because John and I just caught 
two back to back on the spot and we were just joking around about how you know they're supposed to be on rocks and uh there's weeds here and this guy destroyed it harder than the smallmouth were but nice like probably 19 inch male come back still early originally we came out here because we uh just i don't know we were bored at camp and wanted to go fishing even though we didn't really think it was going to get good until obviously the evening time we've caught quite a bit of fish actually so as long as that keeps up we probably got a good another hour before it's going to get really good but i got a good feeling we might uh might destroy the fish tonight well you guys you can see sun is going down and john and i finally rolled back up to the spot where we originally started today we wanted to kind of give it a break because we figured this spot would be better at evening and what we're going to be throwing is a little jerk bait john just caught two back to back on it so i'm going to try my luck and again we're just fishing shallow rocks I'm gonna see if we can get a few before the sun fully goes down What do I have? A log or a fish? No, a fish. <laughs> he didn't he even hit it. You didn't hit it? Well, like he did, but like I didn't even feel him pick it up. Walleye, brother. Okay, well, you know, my first cast with the jerk bait, and I did catch a walleye with it. Not too big, but not too small. Probably like a nice 19 incher. Did not crush it. I was expecting them to kind of crush it. But, yeah, he just kind of picked it up and was on there. Not a bad one. Not terrible. Nice sunset walleye. Doesn't get any better. John and I have had ourselves a pretty good day. And uh, this is the time of the day where we thought the fishing would actually start to pick up. So, we might, uh, we might be able to get into them, considering we just caught three in the last, like, ten minutes. That thing slammed it. <laughs> that one hit on the pause. Big, great feeling. See you next. I don't know, it feels decent. Hard to say though, he could have it like hooked yeah. weird or something. Yeah, not bad. Kind of fatty it looks like. Nice. Not bad. All right, so everything we said is coming true here. <laughs> that one's still pre-spawn. All right, you guys, show you this fish, probably like a 21 inch female. This one is pre-spawn still. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a bunch of eggs that are coming out right now. Most of the fish we caught today were actually males. John did catch a 24 inch post-spawn male. If you guys want to see that go to his channel he will have a video but this one's pre-spawn which is crazy because uh water temps are 52 degrees this thing should definitely be done but I'm not gonna spend too much time with her get her back so she can do her thing thanks for hitting the jerk bit ah, that was fun well guys as much as i don't want to end filming uh, we do have multiple days of doing this and filming in the dark is very hard especially when it's just john and i if we hook up you know we might have to net for each other and stuff very hard to hold the camera and film and do all that stuff so we're probably going to continue to fish if something crazy happens i'll bring out the big camera show you guys the fish or whatever happens but most likely we're going to fish for a couple hours and then i'll see you guys back at camp so just got back to camp now let me tell you as soon as i took that gopro off john and i started absolutely clapping walleyes literally like i'm pretty sure the cast right after i took the gopro off 
Um, I don't think we didn't catch one on every single cast for the next like 30 minutes. We probably caught like 20 to 30 walleyes every single cast on those jerk baits. I even caught a 27 incher right now. I'm going to overlay some footage for you guys. We didn't film with the GoPros or the big camera like I was saying, but we did film on our phones just for Instagram and stuff like that. So still got some footage just to show you guys that we're not lying and we actually did just clap the crap out of them, but super fun. Uh, I'm gonna maybe try tomorrow or the next day to actually figure out a way to film that a little better Just because I'm sure we're probably gonna be able to duplicate that the next few days here the weather seems about right and uh, It was a lot of fun, but for the rest of the night We just got back just pulled in the boat. I'm charging it right now Like I was saying earlier, we did get a site that has electricity, which is super clutch But what we're gonna do tonight. We're going to make a fire John's going to be on kitchen duty, making us some food. We're going to eat, uh, maybe have some drinks, sit by the fire, just relax pretty much the rest of the night, and then head to bed. So that's the game plan. Super fun first day of camping. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far, and hopefully you're going to be enjoying all the videos that we make up here. But I'm going to start making that fire, help John cook, and enjoy the rest of the night. Got the fire ripping. If I head on over here to the kitchen, we got John on cooking duty. What up, bros? What are you making us tonight? So, we're making only the finest of meals. Ramen noodles. All right, Nick and I, before we went camping, we're like, dude, I love ramen, you love ramen. Let's just make it a goal to eat a bunch of ramen this trip. So, it was like three, like three of these packets for $1. We load it up, all right? So tonight is roasted chicken flavor, which we've never had. And then... Yeah, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, earlier. man. How much freaking ramen Oh, we got. yeah. We got chili. We got shrimp. We got beef. And then that other chicken one. And then there's a couple other ones in here, too. But we got all of the goodies. And, uh, yeah, tonight's roasted chicken. Well... You can see, John did the deed of making us food. You made the fire, dude. I did make the fire, as you guys can see. The thing is ripping. Everything is super dry up here. We haven't gotten rain in a while. But nothing better than, one, a successful day fishing, which for John and I does not happen very often while we are together. Well... We don't, we don't, here and there. Yeah, it's, it's spotty. But tonight spotty. was actually one of those nights where we went into it like pretty confident that we were going to do good, and we definitely did do pretty good. And now, I mean, you can't ask for a more beautiful night. We didn't get any wind, like 80 degrees, second week of May. We're sitting by a fire, eating some ramen, which is like a top 10 food for sure. And our favorite Twitch streamer just went live. Even, and we get service. Like, there's some things in life that uh, are just wonderful, and this is definitely one of them. This is just all of our favorite things kind of all together right here. And, uh, yeah, so the rest of the night we're just going to eat some ramen here, chill by the fire, and uh, just take it in. First night is a success, and hopefully it just keeps going on from here. So, as you guys can tell, we are laying down. Let me turn the camera around here quick. Well, one to John, just straight up chilling. But, as you can tell, we're in the tent. Plenty of room. John and I are extremely tired after our long day. We're probably gonna pass out right away. But, man, what a day. Tons of, tons of fishing action. Tons of camping action, and we are beat. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. This is where it will be ending. This is day one. We're going to be up here for another 
two days and hopefully bring a ton of great content for you guys so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a like leave a comment down below what you guys thought of the camping video and if you're excited for more camping videos because now that it's actually nice out uh, we're probably going to start bringing it back into the rotation of videos. So if that's something you guys like, make sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me what you like about it. But we're going to head to bed, get some good sleep, wake up, and do it all over again. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits.